Greetings everybody. Today I have a review of Western Digital's blue solid state drive, the one terabyte edition. Western Digital sent me this for free for a review and it's a pretty incredible piece of hardware. So I thought I'd test out this new drive by comparing loading times for Fallout 4 and Dark Souls 3. Uh, later in the video, I'm gonna go over the various sizes and prices available for Western Digital's new blue line and make suggestions for which drive I'd recommend for different people. And if you've never done it before, installing a new disk drive is extremely simple to do and very satisfying, actually. Uh, towards the end of the video, I'm going to go over all the installation steps necessary to get your new drive up and running. Uh, and please give this video a like. It helps share the word and spread the word of Wicked Game Guides a lot. And let me know in the comments how much total storage space you actually have on your computer. With this new solid state, I have up to 4.25 terabytes of storage now. That's way too much. Anyway, let's get to the loading times. First off, the hard disk drive loading times. For Fallout 4 installed to a hard disk, it took 16 seconds to load a save file from the title screen to inside Super Duper Mart, and then another 21 seconds to go from inside Super Duper Mart to outside in the wasteland. For Dark Souls 3 on a hard disk, it took 22 seconds to load from the title screen into Lothric Castle, and another seven seconds from the bonfire there to Firelink Shrine. The solid state drive for those exact same loading scenarios cut loading times in about half to about 30% off of the initial hard disk drive times. For Fallout 4 in a solid state, it took eight seconds compared to 16 seconds to load a save file from the title screen to go inside Super Duper Mart, and then 16 seconds from inside to outside. Dark Souls 3 on a solid state took 14 seconds as opposed to 22 seconds to go from the title screen to Lothric, and then only four seconds to go from the bonfire into Firelink Shrine. These dramatic reductions in loading times make sense for the, uh, the claimed read and write speeds for the solid state versus hard disk drives. Most hard disk drives, a 7200 RPM hard disk drive, they uh, read and write between 50 and 150 megabytes per second. Whereas the Western Digital Blue solid state drive claims up to a 545 megasecond read speed and a 525 megasecond write speed. The new blue line comes in three different sizes, 250 gigs for 80 bucks, 500 gigs for 139 bucks, and one terabyte for 270 bucks. I'm running on the terabyte right now. The different sizes shouldn't have any effect on the speeds or performance boosts that you're gonna get uh, for upgrading from a hard disk to a solid state. So it's more about choosing the, the size that's right for your budget. I would recommend the smallest 250 gigabyte solid state drive for anybody, unless you do a lot of video editing or other creative work that requires a lot of files that are very large. 250 gigs is more than enough to, to install a couple games and all the software you need. Another nice benefit of the solid state drives is that they help enormously if you're a heavy multitasker and you like to have a lot of different programs running simultaneously. Right now I have four different Adobe programs running while I'm making this video and another 15 to 20 tabs open in Chrome and being able to boot up the next piece of software to not slow down your workflow is extremely helpful to me. Ah, finally, the fun part, installing the hard drive. So, first off, I should mention that this does not come with a SATA cable. They're dirt cheap if you don't have an extra one lying around or just hanging out free inside your desktop. I would check there before you go out and order one, but be sure to have one on hand. So, first off, be sure to ground yourself and open up your desktop in a clean area. You don't want to accidentally discharge some electricity and fry something in the process. So plug in one end of the SATA cable to your motherboard and the other end into the solid state. Then hook up the power cable to the solid state. Uh, it might be there. To find the power cable, I would look for one hanging off of another hard drive you have installed on your desktop. They're usually very close by and set up in a chain. Now close your computer and power it back on. Now that you have Windows up and running, go to Disk Management. You can get there from by right-clicking the Windows icon in the bottom left, then go up to Disk Management. Select OK from the pop-up that's gonna show up right away. And then underneath the list of disks, there will be one drive that is unallocated. Right-click that disk, 
and then choose new simple volume. The default settings are perfect, just keep clicking next unless you want to be a, glue, a, a goof and name it the Z drive instead of the D or E or whatever drive. And then after formatting, you'll notice that the total size of the disk may have dropped or will have dropped a little bit. This one terabyte drive has dropped to 931 gigs because some space is lost to formatting the disk be readable by Windows. And that's it. Thanks for watching my review of Western Digital's new blue solid state drive. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for more gaming updates. And thank you to Western Digital for hooking me up with this amazing piece of hardware. Thanks for watching and game on.